Um, Barbara, what did you find uh, appealing about Maria that made you decide you wanted to be part of this project? Well, Maria is uh, it's a character that that um, she she she's very similar to me in many ways. Mm -hmm. uh, Maria is a woman who tried to fit in what society had allowed her to be, mm -hmm. and and I did too for for many years in my life, trying to fit in that in that. Uh, you know, um, box. yeah, in that little, 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 very limited box uh, <laughs> that we try to fit in for being, you know, recognized, accept accepted or whatever. So mm -hmm. uh, this struggle that I that I that I was for many years in my life, Maria has been there for all her life. So when she entered to the police, uh, for another reason, and she finds herself like a lot of things about herself that she didn't know, and mm -hmm. she's like, "Oh my God, I I don't I don't want to lose this. What is this? What, what else I can I, I can do? You know?" So I I felt so much of a you know I. I said, like, I, I need to do this character. I need to... It was like a... Oh, yeah, yeah. I need to give this <laughs> woman a voice. And, and yeah, I, I understand. I, como se, la entiendo tanto, ¿no? O sea, como... Yeah. You, know, so. you really relate to her. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's amazing. And, uh, Fernando, uh, what kind of challenges did you find while uh, making Women in Blue? Um... I, I have to say that this 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 show has been I've been in I've been in very problematic shows and in, in, in films in my life, but I I have to say that this show had a, a guardian angel the the entire time, and I think that this show from the first time I I only pitched this show once to Apple TV mm -hmm. Plus, and they wow. jumped on it and they nurtured it and took care of it and helped us make it and invested what was what needed to be invested. To have an, a show set in the '70s in Mexico, which is not, you know, mm -hmm. it's it's a, it's a it's a major uh, commitment, and and then you know choosing the actors and actresses and the crew, I think that it's like it's like choosing an orchestra for a for a piece mm -hmm. that you know very well how it needs to sound, and you know who needs to have which strengths, and I think that once you do that, you just need to let go and you need to trust. And and I trusted every single person in, in this in the show, and every single person delivered. And so I think I think that it's not it's the exception of to the rule in my life at least. Mm -hmm. um, but this show had the challenge was showing up every day and and doing our best, you know, and seeing every day as a as an opportunity to tell an, a a great story, an important story. And I think that. Uh, I think that we all sort of went into this uh, into this mindset that we could be our mm -hmm. best selves every single day. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah. And um, well, throughout this series, uh, we have seen Maria's uh, personal and professional growth. Uh, what makes you feel proud the most of portraying her, Barbara? What makes me feel proud the no, most? Yeah, yes. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's a it's an interesting question. I I just I just feel very grateful, more than proud. Very grateful for the opportunity to 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 be able to do Maria, to do Maria in mm -hmm. his hands and with all the beautiful people that we work with and and. Yeah, and to 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 be able to be present for yeah. every moment, you know, para que cada momento me atravesara el corazón. How do you say that? For every moment to pierce my heart. Yes, for every moment yeah. to pierce my heart. Like yeah. that. That's one thing that I, I feel very grateful for. Yeah, more than proud. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell you what I'm proud. What makes me proud of Maria? 
Mm-hmm. I think I think Maria is is a is a person who who was she so she had to move to such a different place than what she was used to, um, and there must have been doubt inside of her every mm-hmm. single second, um, and and at the same time she commands you know, admiration and, and she commands this, you know, that people see her, the, the other Azul is see her as a leader and mm-hmm. to be a leader and to be a, to be frightened all the time is a difficult thing because leaders, I think leaders don't, leaders are often scared. And, and I mm-hmm. think that fear, it's not, it, the, the quality that makes a good leader is not somebody who's not scared but somebody who rises, you know, in spite of the fear. And I, 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 re- I relate to Maria in, in, the, in this thing, like when I show up on set and there's 200 people waiting and they're, they're going like, what do we do? <laughs> and, and, you, and you feel like, oh my God, there's so much, there's so much pressure. And at the same time, you, can't, you need to just breathe and go with it. And I think I can, I can see Maria struggle every single day in spite of the smile in spite of the you know in spite of the perfection maria is very scared and i uh and i admire her her ability to to look beyond the fear yeah i think it's really recognizable that Mm -hmm. she was uh, courageous all the time right she tried to overcome her fears in the end yeah that's fantastic to watch (laughs) and um you know despite the challenges and everything what do you consider that were uh some of your favorite scenes to either direct or shoot, uh, or what, what were the ones that you, that turned out to be the most rewarding for the part of you? For me, I, I think for uh, when I watched, okay, the episodes, the episode six, when, when Goyo comes to the show, right? Mm-hmm. And he starts playing the piano, this amazing song. And everything that happens in 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 be, uh, in the meantime, where uh, in the, in the song, you know, every character in the in the series, is, except for Angeles and Gabriel, that they are mm-hmm. having dinner, but all of all the the car the other characters are just falling apart, you know, and and I think is one of the most uh, se- beautiful sequences for me in the okay. show. And I haven't seen yet the <laughs> nine and the ten, but 